Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the top five best stocks that stock experts think will double over the next 12 months. But before we get into that, remember to go and smash that like button for more videos like this one, subscribe if you are new, comment down below a stock that you love that you think will double in the next year, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's story. So we're going to start off talking about stock market news, and then we are going to move into the top best stocks to buy right now according to experts. So according to investing.com through Yahoo Finance, the US stock market has been falling and it has continuously fallen through Friday despite a very positive jobs report. For instance, the economy added around 372,000 jobs last month, which is actually really good because the expectation and the projection for the number of jobs that were supposed to be added was around 268,000. So clearly the economy has been adding more jobs than what was initially projected, which is very positive news for the overall stock market as well as the overall economy. Now, despite this, the unemployment rate is still at around 3.6%, and ideally we would want that at around 2%, but it's nice to see that we are headed in a positive direction, and maybe further and future job reports are also going to be positive, thus offsetting the risk of a decrease in GDP, which could cause the stock market to rebound very nicely. Now, despite this, the expectation for the stock market to keep falling is still intact because the current expectation for the Federal Reserve to raise the prime rate and to raise interest rates by around a half of a percent or three fourths of a percent later this month. And that could scare investors, which could cause them to liquidate their stocks, which would cause the stock market to continuously fall downwards. Now, the reason why the Federal Reserve actually, I would say, has to do this, and I actually agree with them is that they are doing this to get inflation under control because by the Federal Reserve increasing interest rates, it's actually going to lower overall inflation, which could reflect very positively on the overall economy and of course the stock market. But despite that, stock experts, financial advisors, and analysts actually highlighted five stocks that they think will double. Now, I have also commented on these stocks and I will go over what I think about these stocks as well because I only think probably one or two of these will actually double because I tend to disagree with analysts the majority of the time. However, the first company that we're going to talk about today is Novavax Inc, ticker symbol NVAX, and I currently have a sell rating for this stock, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but the current stock price hovers at around $74 per share, which is actually between analysts' price targets that go as low as $35 and as high as $207 for the next 12 months. But despite this, apparently multiple analysts think that the company could at least double and I will explain why. But first, if you didn't know, Novavax is a Maryland-based biotechnology company that actually develops vaccines for various infectious diseases, and they have come in handy because they do have COVID-19 vaccines. But despite this, as of July 7th, the NVAX stock price has fallen by around 50% year to date. But according to analysts, this company is projected to rank in the top performers in the Russell 1000 thousand leaderboards, which is why they anticipate that the stock could surge by around 193%, which is absolutely insane. So clearly analysts have a buy rating for this particular company, and they have a price target or an average price target of around $181 per share. Now I want to chime in about this company. So I agree with analysts that this company is set to rank and place in the top performers of the Russell 1000 leaderboard. And if you didn't know, the Russell 1000 is basically just an index that has the top 1,000 large cap companies in that index. Now, the reason why I have a sell rating on this particular company is because I think it's going to be relatively a short-term catalyst. For instance, the money that they are getting from their COVID vaccine and their infectious diseases vaccine isn't going to last forever. This is going to be very temporary because after everyone is vaccinated, the amount of revenues they are bringing in from this fantastic catalyst for the company by selling selling this vaccine is going to drop and then flatline. So clearly, I don't think this is going to be very sustainable, but it could be a good short-term play if you are into trading stocks, which is why I personally have a sell rating because I am a long-term investor and I'm not really interested in a short-term catalyst. The next 
company we're going to talk about is Peloton Interactive Inc., ticker symbol PTON, and I have a hold rating for this particular company. The current PTON stock price is around $10.23 per share, and analysts think that the company is worth somewhere between $9 on the low end and $60 on the high end. Peloton Interactive is a company that manufactures and distributes and sells fitness machines and fitness products. They also offer a live streaming platform for their customers to actively join on-demand workout classes that they offer, which is really cool in my opinion. But recently, the PTON stock price has fallen by around 70% year-to-date as of July 7th, and its average price target has fallen to around $21. Also, I want to say that the company Competition for this company is very high because according to the investment advisory UBS, they said that actually Planet Fitness and Nike are going to be the top workout fitness and athletic brands where Planet Fitness has a great competitive advantage in the United States and Canada while Nike's Run Club actually has the highest number of users over in the United Kingdom and Germany. And both of these are actually eating away at Peloton Interactive's user base. But despite this, a JP Morgan analyst re iterated his overweight rating for Peloton Interactive, ticker symbol PTON, and they have a price target of around 20. And that would meet our criteria about a company that is set to double over the next 12 months, according to analysts, where some very bullish analysts literally think it could almost 4 to 5x if the most bullish price prediction is correct for this particular company. But right now, I have a hold rating on a Peloton Interactive, and I really don't think these analysts understand that Peloton Interactive is drastically losing market share to their competition. But I could change my mind if in the future Peloton Interactive starts to become competitive competitive once again, but as of right now, I would disagree with analysts overall. However, always make sure to do your own research on these companies so you know what's going to be best for your personal portfolio and your hard-earned money. But overall, I would say for our 4 and 5 spot, I would say Novavax is a sell, and I would say that Peloton Interactive is a hold as of right now according to current projections and the data that we currently have. However, analysts are very bullish on both of those companies. Now let's move on to our number 3 spot, which is is going to be Coinbase, and this is another company in which analysts and stock experts think will double in stock price over the next 12 months. Currently, Coinbase Global Inc.'s COIN stock trades for close to $60 per share, and analysts have price targets that range anywhere from $45 all the way up to $290, and again, for this company, I have a hold rating because right now, we are in the midst of a crypto winter because cryptocurrencies are absolutely plummeting right now, and the winter could be very long. Now, if you don't know what Coinbase Global is, it's an American financial infrastructure and technology company that operates as a cryptocurrency exchange worldwide. And the COIN stock, ticker name COIN, has dropped by around 77% this year. Basically, ever since IPO, it surged up and then it absolutely crashed. And it's still crashing as of right now, especially because we have entered into a crypto winter. But analysts still remain very bullish on the long-term prospects of Coinbase because some of them do believe in the authenticity and the real-world use cases for not only Coinbase but for cryptocurrencies as a whole. So they actually anticipate that this stock is going to double and that right now the COIN stock is actually a fantastic bargain to buy right now according to some analysts. But with that being said, analysts have decided to downgrade the stock from an overweight rating which is more positive down to a neutral rating. So that is a decline. And they have also lowered their stock price targets from $95 down to around $54, according to one analyst. Mainly because this analyst worries that the company's financial strength and consumer asset protections are going to become under attack, especially as the cryptocurrency market continues to fall. However, if you are a long-term investor and you really like Coinbase and you don't think they're going to go anywhere or go out of business, this could be a very long-term play for you. For instance, if you want to invest right now and hold on to this company for the next 10 years despite if the stock price continuously falls downward this could pay off very handsomely over the long run however because we don't know how this is going to play out i currently just have a hold rating on this company i personally also own coin stock and i am just holding i'm not adding any more and i am not selling any i am pretty comfortable with the current position and exposure that i have right now but if this stock starts to climb even lower down to around 
$30 per share, then I might start to increase my overall position because at that point, it's going to become almost unavoidable that this company is a fantastic bargain. And from that point, it could literally quadruple in price considering that some analysts have price targets of around $90 per share for the COIN stock. But we are definitely gonna have to wait and see. I also wanna point out that ARK Investment Management led by Kathy Wood also sees great prospects for Coinbase's COIN stock. So that's also going to play a big role, especially if you like ARK Invest and Kathy Wood. However, as of right now, I have a hold rating. For our number two spot, we have Carvana, ticker symbol CVNA. And although I do have a hold rating for this company, I am very inclined to rate this more of a hold slash buying opportunity because I do think this stock is going to be somewhat undervalued, especially if it falls below that low end analyst price target of $15, and I think there's going to be somewhat of a fantastic recovery in this particular stock. If you didn't know, Carvana, ticker symbol CVNA, is an Arizona-based company that operates an e-commerce platform to buy and sell cars in the United States. And over the past year, as of July 7th, the stock has fallen around 89%, so there has been a huge sell-off in this particular stock, where analysts think that the stock could recover and surge all the way up to $220 per share. However, even if we take the average analyst price target, the CVNA stock for Carvana could surge around 218% in the next 12 months, which would be an absolutely huge payday. An analyst from Wedbush even reiterated his outperform rating for Carvana with a price target of $50 per share. So even at the current stock price of $25.82, pretty much the stock is set to double over the next year. And although the analyst does highlight how the stock could continuously fall during the short term due to the downside risk in the current stock market environment that we are in right now, over the long term, he sees a fantastic future for Carvana, and I tend to agree with him. But because we are still in the midst of a stock market crash, that's why I have a hold rating, but I do think this stock is going to rebound. So again, we have a buy slash hold rating for this particular company. And then lastly, we have a company which analysts just absolutely love, and that is going to be Uber Technologies. Now, I've actually upgraded Uber Technologies from a hold rating to a buy rating, because I think the stock is going to be cheap enough to where now, it's a good buying opportunity considering the current stock market environment. If you didn't know, Uber Technologies, ticker symbol U-B-E-R, is a California-based technology company that operates a taxi service. A JP Morgan analyst has maintained an overweight rating for Uber Technologies with a price target of $48, which would imply over a 200% upside opportunity from buying the stock right now, which currently trades for $22 per share. Even analysts think that the company is somewhat under valued right now because even the critics and the very bearish analysts have a $27 price target for this company over the next 12 months, and the very bullish positive analysts have a $75 price target for this company. All in all, according to Bloomberg, they think that the company is set to surge by around 129%, which is absolutely phenomenal. And although Uber Technologies is pretty good, I actually would buy Tesla because I think Tesla's robo-taxis will eventually overtake Uber Technologies at some point. Uber Technologies is already working on an automated taxi service, and in my opinion, they are one of the market leaders, if not the market leader, in their particular sector. However, with that being said, the competition is pretty fierce as of right now. But with that being said, smart money absolutely loves this stock. For instance, financial professionals like this stock, hedge fund owners like this stock, analysts like this stock, and overall, they think it's a long-term buying opportunity, considering that the current stock stock price of $22 is trading below even the most bearish analyst price target of $27 overall. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Remember to smash that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below on Uber Technologies and any other stock on this list. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.